What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? How are you guys doing? In this video, we're gonna take a look at some of your pain caves. I posted a request just asking you guys to send me pictures of your pain cave. And you guys just did a fantastic job responding with pictures and videos and funny messages. And today I wanna go through uh, just a couple of those. And if your particular pain cave happens to be featured on this video, send me a quick message with your address and I will definitely send you guys just some stickers they say swim, bike, run, rinse, repeat. And it's just something fun that you can put on water bottles or wherever, maybe put them on some friend that you don't like, I don't know. Uh, but it's just my way of saying thank you. And the first pain cave that I wanna look at is from a fellow YouTuber. Uh, Scott Bavel is a professional triathlete. I'll leave a link to his channel down below in the description of this video. Uh, but he recently posted a video of his pain cave. He's taken what looks like a garage here, uh, you know, talks about his Canon Speedmax bike, which is super nice, super clean looking. Um, also, he has an area dedicated to sunglasses, uh, running shoes, helmets, uh, really nice organization here. I do like how clean and nice and tidy everything is. Uh, also, very nice treadmill that he has. I've actually run on this brand of treadmill before. It's got a little fan built into it. Uh, nice treadmill. I know he spends a lot of quality time there. Uh, it looks like he has the Wahoo Kicker. Um, and it looks like he's got a couple of other Wahoo products here, uh, like the desk and the fan. Okay, next pain cave comes to us from Ron. Just looks like he's dedicated an entire room to this. Uh, treadmill on the left. Um, what looks like weights in the middle and then bikes on the right. Wahoo Kicker, obviously, up front there. And then I love seeing the rollers. It kind of looks like they might be homemade rollers. Uh, and then I did say like, hey, you know, Ron, beautiful bike over there, the Bianchi. And he was like, yes, that's a 95 Genius Bianchi. And it's got Campagnolo Athena components on it. So super cool bike, super cool pain cave. Um, I always love seeing people's medals hanging up in their pain cave. Awesome job here. Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, Ron also sent us this red room. Um, you know, I'm not sure I'm familiar with all of the different types of exercise equipment in here on this one, uh, but super nice room, Ron. Uh, it's cool that you have the whole red theme throughout the room, uh, and I'm sure you get a killer workout from it. Okay, next room comes to us from Ellie. Uh, Ellie, I love this room, it looks awesome. Uh, the cool Ironman World Championship sign on the wall, uh, treadmill with shoes on it, ready to go. Uh, I did notice the Cervelo P5X there in the back hanging up. Uh, looks like it's ready to go on what looks like a Trax Neo uh, bike trainer. And it looks like you've got a projector there as well. I'm pretty sure there's a projector. Uh, it doesn't show it showing on the other side, but man, throwing Zwift up on the projector must be awesome. And the next pain cave here is pretty amazing. Uh, pool right here in the garage. Uh, next to it, bike uh, on the kicker trainer. And it looks like it's got some swim cords so you can kind of do the tethered swimming thing uh, in this small pool. So that is dedication right there. Uh, super impressive. Uh, always good to see that you can get out, uh, crush that T1 and hop right on the bike. Cool setup. And the next room here is coming from Eric. And my goodness, this place is completely decked out. Uh, it's got that slant wall stuff and everything has a place. It's everything is able to be like hung up in the room as well as signs and pictures and fans. Uh, again, it looks like you've got a couple of bikes here, a lot of Cervelo bikes. Um, the one on the left looks like the P5X and I can't tell if that's the P5X 
P3 or the P2 on the right. Uh, amazing bikes, amazing room, uh, awesome organization. I love seeing how clean and tidy everything is. I gotta do something like the slant walls at my house. Okay, next pain cave is from Scott. Uh, and it looks like it's just a small little room or a corner of a room. Uh, and it's, I actually really like it. It's just completely bare brick walls and he's got medals hanging up. He's got a map of Watopia and he's got this Tour de France sign. And he actually, I reached out and I asked him and he said uh, he had to shimmy up a pole to be able to snag that Tour de France sign uh, right there in front of the treadmill. He's got shoes ready to go. He's got bike shoes ready to go. Um, it looks like another Trax Neo Smart Trainer there, uh, right there ready to go with Zwift. I don't know how you did this, but it looks like you're somehow putting out over 230 watts while you're not even on the bike. Uh, super impressive. I love this little pain corner. Uh, awesome job, Scott. Thanks for sending this in. Okay, just today I noticed this post on Reddit from Luke and I asked him if I could post it in the video and he said, sure, no problem. Uh, look at the hats. There's, that's my problem, I have tons of hats. And he's got a huge rack there of hats, lots of race hats, just lots of cool stuff there. Uh, again, amazing windows here so he can actually see something when he's working out. Uh, BMC bike, which I do like the BMCs. In the back corner there, you can tell that's a, a Canyon Speed Max uh, with an all-world a sticker on there, so he was an all-world athlete at some point. And it looks like right in the edge of this video, uh, it says S2 there. I think that could be a Cervelo, but it's hard for me to tell. And I love the race numbers going across the top of the room there. Uh, really awesome room. Thanks for letting me share this. Okay, next room here is from Scott. Uh, a lot of Scott's posting these, and I'm generally not using people's last names just because uh, I want to protect their privacies if they're interested in that. Um, but I love this room. Uh, the fact that there's this awesome jersey here um, framed. Uh, you've got Zwift rocking there. You've got, I think, a Cannondale bike on a Wahoo kicker. Uh, another, what looks to be maybe a Cervelo on another kicker. Uh, both of those are kicker cores, I think. And then I loved all of this frame cycling stuff on the wall super nice and just makes it your own just a really nice room thanks for allowing me to share that scott okay next little pain cave is from dave bussy and he actually sent in a video which i i really do appreciate uh and he's got like groups of mountain bikes he's got all kinds of different bike equipment that you might need but what's really cool about dave's setup uh, is he has this u-shaped desk uh, which allows him to kind of have tables on either side as well as with displaying right in front of him there But behind him he has a green screen which allows him to kind of superimpose himself over Zwift and Broadcast his Zwift rides so I'll try to find a link to his live broadcast And I'll link it below in the description of this video uh, Just so that you guys can actually see his live broadcast and follow him if that's something that you're interested in Okay, next pain cave comes to us from Mike Back. Uh, oh my gosh, this guy has so much cool stuff in his garage here. Uh, this is what looks like a Cervelo P2 uh, on a rocker plate. It looks like another rocker plate next to it. I, I, they might be homemade rocker plates, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but there's so much stuff in here. Um, you know, obviously TV to work out with Zwift, but weights. He's got uh, quite a few like recovery tools, uh, just because that's something that he's into for his profession. Um, but you know, you've got boots, you've got massage guns, uh, just a lot of different tools to help with recovery, as well as like, you know, medicine balls and stretching equipment. And what's really interesting is Mike's got uh, a vibration plate piece in the corner here as well as a sauna. I think that's a sauna that's there. And Mike, thanks for sending this in, uh, as well as making all of us jealous of all the stuff you've got going on in your pain cave here. And the last pain cave comes from Evan and Cassie. Uh, what cracks me up is that they actually have a name for theirs. Uh, it's called the Gaines Garage. And Cassie put together this amazing video for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, just going over all the details, 
of their garage. You've got a treadmill, you've got what looks like a rowing machine in there. Um, obviously, bike trainers, bikes, helmets hanging from the top there. Uh, what I love seeing is like Evan on the bike, clearly working out with some sort of like old Tour de France video playing in front of him, which I'm sure he's watched a thousand times. Uh, but thank you so much for sending this in. I really do appreciate it. It looks fantastic. I've actually never been over to visit, but I'm coming over as soon as this whole COVID thing blows over. All right, guys, if you guys are into this sort of thing, and that would be swimming, biking, or running, definitely consider subscribing to the video. And there's also a little notification bell down there somewhere as well. Uh, you're gonna wanna switch that to all, just so that you're gonna be able to see whenever I post a video, which is typically about once per week. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this with me, and we will see you guys on the next one.